everyone, welcome back from Museum Storytime with me and Albany Mouse. Can you give Albany a big wave and say hello? Hello, good job. So today Albany has chosen The Snail and the Whale by Julia Donaldson and Axel Scheffler for our Museum Story. So the first thing we need to do is make sure that we're sitting nice and comfortably for our story. So can you have a big wiggle, 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 wiggle. That's it, get nice and comfy. Good job. Now, can you find your ears? Ooh, here are mine. And starting at the bottom, can you give them a wiggle? Here are Albany's. Ooh, wiggle, wiggle, wiggle. That's it. Make sure your ears are switched on for our story time. And then wiggle the tops too. Don't forget the middle. Oh, wiggle, wiggle. Good job. Albany, are you ready for our story now? Well, he says, yes, please. So I'm going to sit Albany here. There he is. Ready for our story. I hope you're ready too. Let's begin. This is the tail of a tiny snail and a great big grey blue humpback whale. This is the rock as black as soot and this is the snail with an itchy foot. The sea snail slithered all over the rock and gazed at the sea and the ships in the dark. As she gazed she sniffed and sighed. <sighs> the sea is deep and the world is wide. How I long to snail to sail, said the tiny snail. These are the other snails in the flock who all stuck tight to the smooth black rock and said to the snail with the itchy foot, be quiet, don't wriggle, stay put, sit still. But the tiny sea snail sighed and sniffed, <sighs> then cried, I got it, I'll hitch and lift. This is the trail of the tiny snail, a silvery trail that looped and curled and said, lift, wanted around the world. This is the whale who came one night when the tide was high and the stars were bright. A humpback whale, immensely long, who sang to the snail a wonderful song of shimmering ice and coral caves and shooting stars and enormous waves. And this is the tail of the humpback whale. He held it out of the starlit sea and said to the snail, come with me. She's getting on. This is the sea so wild and free that carried the whale and the snail on his tail to towering icebergs and far off lands with fiery mountains and golden sands. These are the waves that arched and crashed, that foamed and frolicked and sprayed and splashed. The tiny snail oh, on the tail of the whale and these are the caves beneath the waves with stripy fish with feathery fins and sharks with hideous toothy grins swam round the whale and the snail oh, on his tail. This is the sky so vast and high, sometimes sunny and blue and warm, sometimes filled with a thunderstorm with zigzag lightning, flashing and frightening, the tiny snail, oh dear, on the tail of the whale. And she gazed at the sky, the sea, the land, the waves and the caves and the golden sand. She gazed and gazed, amazed by it all. And she said to the whale, I feel so
But then came the day the whale lost his way. These are the speedboats running a race, zigging and zooming all over the place, upsetting the whale with their ear-splitting roar, making him swim, oh dear, too close to the shore. Oh, and this is the tide slipping away. And this is the whale lying in the bay. Oh dear, no water's left. Quick, off the sands, back to the sea, cried the snail. I can't move on land, I'm too big, moaned the whale. The snail felt helpless and terribly small. Then, I got it, she cried and started to crawl. I must not fail, said the tiny snail. This is the bell, ding, 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 on the school in the bay, ringing the children in from their play. This is the teacher holding her chalk, telling the class, sit straight, don't talk. And this is the board, as black as soot. And this is the snail with the itchy foot. A snail, a snail, the teacher turns pale. Look, say the children, it's leaving our trail. And this is the trail of the tiny snail. A silvery trail saying, save the whale. These are the children running from school, fetching the firemen, digging a pool, squirting and spraying water to keep the whale cool. Look at all the people helping the whale. And this is the tide coming back into the bay and these are the villagers shouting hooray as the whale and the snail travel safely away. Look there's the snail back on the whale's tail. Back to the dock and the flock on the rock who said, how time's flown, and haven't you grown? And the whale and the snail told their wonderful tale of shimmering ice and coral caves and shooting stars and enormous waves and of how the snail, so small and frail, with her looping, curling, silvery trail, saved the life of the humpback whale. Then the humpback whale held out his tail and on crawled snail after snail after snail. They're all going on a ride. And they sang to the sea and they all set sail on the tail of the grey blue humpback whale. The end. I really like that story. I hope you did too. Let's see what Albany thought. Albany, did you like that story about the whale? Oh, oh yes. Oh, it does. Oh, Albany has just said he really enjoyed that story and it reminded him of the great big whale jawbone that we have in the museum in the Natural Northumbria Gallery. It's so big, isn't it, Albany? Oh, he says it's much bigger than him. And you know something? It's even bigger than me. Maybe you could visit the museum with your household and see if you can find the whale jawbone in the museum. What's that, Albany? Oh, yes, so we've got another good idea. Well done, Albany, for remembering. Albany just reminded me to say that tomorrow morning, so Friday morning, on Albany's Facebook page, we're going to be sharing a special messy activity idea that you could maybe do at home that will fit in with the sea and sand theme of our storybook. But we hope to see you soon for another museum story time. Thanks for watching. Bye everyone.